Hey, this is Reggie with Vista Social. Today's video is going to be focused on troubleshooting your Instagram connection. Whether you're trying to connect an Instagram profile to your Vista Social profile group and you realize the profile you're trying to connect is not showing up or it keeps getting disconnected or right, you've ran into an issue there with posting. Today's video is going to be focused on making sure you can get up and running with Instagram as quickly as possible. So let's dive into the computer here. We're on the dashboard and I've been trying to connect my Daily Planet Instagram uh, business profile there. I've, I've headed over to add a social profile. I've selected the Daily Planet uh, profile group. But when I go through Instagram, right, and I accept all the, uh, the permissions, I go through all of that, I end up on this, um, on Vista Social, where it's showing me the Instagram business profile that's not the one I'm trying to connect, right? Something is missing. Something is going on here. And this is what today's uh, video is going to be focused on. There's usually about two or three different things that could uh, really impact whether or not the Instagram business profile shows up on this page or is able to be connected to Vista Social or third party tools. Uh, the first one is the Facebook personal profile that you're using to connect. And I'm going to go back to the dashboard. I'm going to just show you that real quick, right? If I go to add social profile, Matthew's Coffee, oops, sorry, <laughs> Daily Planet, and Instagram. It's gonna ask me for some permissions on Facebook, right? And all of that is being done through your personal profile on Facebook. In this case, uh, this is my personal profile. You can see that through my profile picture there. So the first issue is, does your personal Facebook profile, does it have admin access to the Facebook page that's been linked with this Instagram business profile? And maybe I should actually start there, right? Instagram business profile gets its ability uh, to post directly through third-party applications through its link to the Facebook page, right? That's ultimately what makes it that uh, business profile that is able to connect to third-party tools for posting. So if your personal profile right over here, right, is not an admin of that Facebook page that's associated with this one, you're gonna run into problems where you're not gonna be able to post. Second one is the permissions here that we go through when you're connecting to Vista Social, if they were not accepted as is, if they were tweaked or modified in any way, if they weren't set up properly, it could lead to issues like this. And the third one is maybe the Instagram business profile wasn't connected or converted rather to a business profile properly. So we're gonna go through all three of those situations here in this video and I'm gonna help you troubleshoot these. So I'll head back to the Vista Social dashboard here. And um, the first thing that we're gonna do is let, let's actually head over to Facebook and we're gonna check first, is my personal profile an admin of the Daily Planet Facebook page? We'll navigate to the profile. So let's go to the Daily Planet page. All right, we're gonna go over to settings and privacy, settings, new page experience. And the first thing there is page access. So within page access, you should see number one at, top, at the top, people with Facebook access. These are the people who ultimately have administrative access. If you don't see your, oh, and I'm gonna show you what that means, right? You can add someone to have access to this Facebook page. They can take any action on this page. Um, so basically this is the admin access we're talking about. If you see your profile listed as a community manager down in this section, that's not enough. You need to have the admin access in order to connect to Vista Social, in order to have that Facebook page and Instagram profile um, within Vista Social properly connected to be able to publish, get uh, access to analytics, inbox, and all of that good stuff. Now, if being an admin is not an option for you, you can also invite the owner of that Facebook page and Instagram profile as a user within Vista Social and have them connect those profiles for you instead. Now, if it is within your ability to get access to this page as an admin, make sure that you do that. Reach out to the page owner, ask them to add you as an admin without restrictions, and that should take care of it. So in my case, I see that here. My name is listed. It is not a problem. So that's not the problem in my case, right? I am an admin of this. So let's move on to the next one, which is maybe the permissions when I first connected Instagram or Facebook to Vista Social, the permissions that I selected there weren't properly set up. So to do that, we're gonna get head over to the Insta, or excuse me, to the Facebook uh, business integration settings. Now there's a link in the help article and it might be in this video too, to take you there directly uh, because there's a couple of steps to get there. First, switch back to your personal profile, not as your page. You're gonna head over to settings and privacy and settings. On the left there, security and login, and then business integrations. Now we can see here within Vista Social 
that there are a ton of things, permissions here that weren't selected. It is very important when you're connecting to Vista Social that every single permission is approved as checked off and allowed. And the reason for that is anything that gets modified or changed could impact our ability to publish. Um, could be impact our ability to even see whether that profile even exists, right? And so what we're gonna do here in order to fix this, we're gonna go ahead and click on remove. We'll remove, um, very important before you click on anything else here, when we're removing Vista Social as a business integration app from your profile, you wanna make sure that you don't click. Do not click this delete post videos events that we publish under timeline. What will happen if you do this is every post that you've scheduled and actually published retroactively from within Vista Social will get removed permanently. There's no way to, to, to undo that. So make sure this is not checked off and we'll go ahead and click on remove. And so this is essentially gonna allow us to um, start from scratch, start fresh with the connection between Facebook, Instagram, and Vista Social. So we'll head back to the Vista Social dashboard at this point. We'll click on add, a quick add. We're gonna go to add a social profile and we're gonna head over to the Daily Planet profile group, click Instagram, and now we're navigating over to Facebook for permissions. And again, this is where I said it is important that we select all for all of these pages. And on this last page where it shows you the list of permissions, feel free to take a couple of minutes to read through those. It's important that you leave them as is. If you have questions, reach out to our support team. If you have concerns, we'll be happy to clarify. Regardless, even though you're accepting it, all of the permissions, you're adding everything, when you go back to Vista Social, you still have the opportunity to determine which one you want connected. In my case here, I can still see, hey, my Daily Planet Instagram is missing. It is not there. So what do we do here, right? In this case, we move on to the third troubleshooting step, which is maybe Instagram wasn't converted to a business profile properly. And there's a way to check this. There's a few different ways. Let's head over back into Facebook just to show you how to get there. You're gonna go over to settings and privacy, settings, um, linked accounts there on the bottom. So it looks like here, we don't have an Instagram profile connected um, at all, which means maybe when this Instagram business profile was converted, a Facebook page wasn't selected, or rather maybe a completely different one was created because there is an option there to say, create a new one. Um, and that's not what we want. So what we're actually gonna do now, we're gonna dive over to my phone. We're gonna get set up there and I'm gonna walk you through what it uh, would look like for you to convert that properly, okay? All right, so now we're on Instagram. We're gonna click on the top right-hand side there. We're gonna to go to settings. And from there, we wanna to go to the account button. Towards the bottom, you'll see a button that says switch to professional account. We wanna make sure we click on that. And we're gonna go through, they're gonna talk a little bit about what uh, the benefits are of having a professional account. You can now choose what describes you, right? Are you a blogger or your newspaper? Um, is this a brand or retail, right? So in this case, I'm gonna go with a, a blogging situation here for Daily Planet. Uh, comic Book News is ultimately what this uh, brand does. So I'll go ahead and select that. And on the next page, it's gonna ask you, do you wanna use a creator account or a business account, right? It's important that we're selecting business profile to get access. This is the only type of account or profile type within Instagram that is able to use the API or the programming language that any third party tools like Vista Social is able to communicate with Instagram to send posts out to retrieve analytics. So make sure you select business profile there. So we'll click next. Um, here is gonna ask you if you wanna attach any business information uh, publicly. You can choose to do that or not. And then here's the important one, right? Connect to Facebook. You wanna click on login to Facebook. This is going to be where you're gonna be able to set up um, that link. Now it's important here that the personal profile that you're logged in as, in this case, Reggie here, is also an admin of that Facebook page. This is where issues could arise. Remember step one that we talked about in this video. So I know that this Instagram, or excuse me, this Facebook personal profile is an admin. So I've gone ahead and selected that one. And as we can see, we've got a couple of pages. I wanna link this Instagram business profile that I'm converting to the Daily Planet page on Facebook. I'll select next and that should be it, right? You've gone ahead and you've set up your professional account, the business profile type. So we should be all set there. I'm gonna go ahead and back, go back to the computer. I should be able to now go back into um, the Facebook linked accounts really. If I go ahead and refresh this, there we go. We see that Instagram shows up 
um, in the linked accounts for Instagram. Now this Facebook, this Instagram are linked properly. We already know that I'm an admin of this Facebook page, right? We went into the settings, the new page experience, and we knew that I here I'm showing up as an admin, and I know that I've accepted all the permissions properly. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back, and since I've gone through these three steps, I'm going to add a social profile one more time, select Daily Planet, Instagram, and this is going to ask me, because I was logged in as the Facebook page, it's gonna ask me to switch back to navigating Facebook as my personal profile, where it's going to just confirm, hey, we've already got a bunch of permissions set up, are these the one you wanna use? If we click yes, and there we go. Daily Planet is now showing up as an Instagram business profile on the list. We can connect that profile to the profile group. So that's it. If you have any questions, if you've gone through these steps and you're still running into issues, reach out to our support team. We'd love to connect with you to make sure that you can get up and running with Instagram as quickly as possible.